Hey everyone, how are you doing? My name is Xu. In this video, I want to show you how I combine notes taking and spaced repetition for remembering everything in Rome. In my previous video, I talked about why we should use spaced repetition system like Anki for almost everything in our life because it's a very powerful learning method. And I also talked about how to use Anki based on an article by Michael Nielsen. If you haven't watched it, you might want to check it out now. In the article, Nielsen mentions one problem with Anki. He says, something I haven't yet figured out is how to integrate Anki with note taking for my creative project. I can't replace note taking with Anki, it's too slow. As he says, Anki is not suitable for writing and note taking, but note taking is critical for learning and thinking. In fact, some people might even say note taking is a thinking process itself. Sonke Afrent, the author of How to Take Smart Notes, mentioned another problem with flashcards like Anki. Each flashcard stays isolated instead of being connected with the network of theoretical frames, our experiences or our latticework of mental models. This not only makes it much more difficult to learn, but also difficult to understand the implications and the meaning of the information. If you read this book or watched my video about how to take smart notes, you know learning is about connecting information. But like Sonke Alperin says, space repetition system can make it hard to find connections because each card is isolated from other pieces of your knowledge. So how can we integrate space repetition system with note taking where you can find connections among pieces of your information? In short, I think Rome might be the best tool to achieve that goal. Rome is a great note taking app that excels at finding meaningful connections and also you can build a decent space repetition system within the app. By the way, the space repetition system I'm going to use in this video is created by anonym.s. He's got amazing videos about Rome, so if you haven't watched them, you should check them out. Essentially, you have five to six boxes that you need to review at increasing intervals. So for example, you review box one every day, box two for every other day, and box three for every other week, and so on. And you can integrate the system with note taking in Rome. For example, whenever I make a new permanent note and want to remember the information, I always ask some questions. For example, in my note about hedonic adaptation, I added questions like, what is hedonic adaptation? How can it be harmful for us? And how to be prevented, then add a tag and a tag for box 1. Finally, you can write a short answer to each question. And if you go to the box 1 page, these questions appear. When you review and get them right, you can move them to the box 1 by changing the number at the end. It's simple and easy. Also, I always journal at the end of each day and write down what I learned. And if it's something I want to remember, all I have to do is add a tag for box 1 at the end. This question is now in the box 1 page so you can review it. And whenever I'm reading an article and find a word or phrase I don't know, I just copy and paste it to Rome and then Google the meaning so I can remember the word. Because English is not my first language, there are still lots of words and phrases I don't know yet. For instance, I didn't even know what quarantine means until the coronavirus happened, which is embarrassing, but now I know. Finally, you can use a quick capture function of Rome on your phone to add things you want to remember very quickly. For example, if you come across a cool fact you want to remember, just open Rome on your phone and write it down with a box one tag, then you can review it later. So this is how I combine notes taking and the space repetition system in Rome. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think about this in the comment, Twitter or Instagram. Alright, have a great day. Bye.